Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Severum Cichlid here, showing the growth rate and evolution over time. We've done a similar video on my brother Quinn's Green Terror, and we'll link that down in the description below if you're interested. We've also done a full care guide on the Severum Cichlid, and we'll link that down below as well. I've had these three Severum Cichlids for a little over a year and a half now, and they've grown a ton. So I'm really excited to show the growth and progression in this video. Before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And let's dive right in. Okay, so in my 180 gallon aquarium, I have three Severums. I have a red spot gold Severum named Big Red. He is my biggest Severum. I've had him about a year and a half now, or a little over. I also have a turquoise severum that's about a year and four months old. And then lastly, I have a red shoulder severum who is a bit younger. He's just starting to get a blue face and that red shoulder. He'll probably end up looking like the best fish in this aquarium once he's fully colored up. So we're going to focus on Big Red here since he is my biggest Severum and I've also had him the longest. I've had him about 19 months now so I'll show him all the way back then and show his growth and evolution through the months and then present day. And after that we'll talk through ways to keep your fish healthy and growing fast, some tips and tricks to know along the way. If you are trying to get your Severum to grow a little faster there are some ways to do so. So let's take it back to about 19 months ago when I first picked up Big Red. So I picked him up from a local fish store about 19 months ago and he was about the size of a quarter. So no bigger than about two inches. He was in my 38 gallon quarantine tank until he was ready to go into my 75 gallon aquarium a few months later. He was so small at this point, but he started putting on about a half inch per month for those next six to seven months. He would eat aggressively and he still does today. Most Severans will eat about anything you put in the tank and they benefit from a varied diet. In June and July of last year, he was still about three to three and a half inches. He was putting on size and length, but not really in regards to width. He was doing well in my 75 gallon aquarium with other South American cichlids, but really around that six month mark in September, he started putting on a little more size in terms of width, which really started filling out. As you can see here, he's a little more thick than he was before, and he started to get more of the red spotting really starting to pop out. In December of last year, I would say he was about five to six inches, and he was starting to get thicker and definitely had a lot more red coloration. His fins also started elongating, and he really just started looking like a beautiful specimen. And here he is in January, about nine months ago, and he was really just coming into his own, ton of personality, just an awesome fish, and probably one of my favorite cichlids I've ever kept. And then in March, about seven months ago, I would say he was about seven inches long and maybe four inches tall, and this is actually when I introduced my turquoise Severum. He's showing off here a little bit, making sure everyone knew he was the tank boss. This is probably when his spotting became the most red, as after this point, that red kind of faded away as he became more golden and yellow, with just some red and orange in his fins. At this point, he was about seven and a half inches, maybe eight, um, and he was starting to get a little thick. He'd been growing up with the Geophagus topos for a long time, and I feel like he almost thought he was one of them, sifting through the sand here. And wow, my Tapajos have really grown as well. Maybe I'll do a similar video on them. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd like to see. This is right whenever I got my 180 gallon aquarium and he went into that tank in June, about four months ago. Overall, I think his growth has slowed down over the last four months. I feel like he really shot up from that two inch mark to about eight inches really quick. And ever since then, he's really just put on more thickness and some height. Big Red here will probably top out around 10 to 12 inches, so he might have another inch or two to go in growth. But overall, he's just an awesome fish. So 
So this was him last month, and now here's him today. So when it comes to growth rate, there are a lot of factors that can contribute to this. Overall, I think Big Red's growth is probably pretty average for most Hebrums, but if you want your fish to grow faster, I'm a firm believer that the number one reason is your water quality. This means making sure you have a fully cycled tank, you have no ammonia, no nitrite, and you keep your nitrates as low as possible, which definitely means you need to keep up with your water changes as these guys eat a lot and produce a lot of waste. Another consideration here is tank size. I do think they will benefit from a bigger tank. I had him in a 75 gallon aquarium for most of his life and he'll be in a 180 for the rest of his life and I think it will be a really good home for him. Another consideration is the diet. For a Severum, I think they really benefit from a varied diet. Getting a high quality pellet and flake and then rounding that out with maybe some vegetable matter or some frozen foods like frozen blood worms. I haven't seen any food that I put in the tank that Big Red does not eat. The last tip I have when it comes to growth rate is just be patient and enjoy the ride. Just supply a quality home for your Severum and they will grow. They may even grow faster if they're less stressed and they don't have tank mates picking on them or stealing food from them. So just keep all those things in mind. I think seeing the growth and evolution of cichlids is one of the best parts of the hobby. You could do things such as power feeding, but I'm not gonna get into that today. However, I do have one more bonus thing to show you here. Check out the little turquoise Severum. This guy was so small. He was probably only an inch or an inch and a half when I got him. And now he's almost caught up to big red in total length. And he's starting to pick up some of that width as well. I'm hoping my red shoulder Severum picks up the same growth rate. And I can't wait to show updates about this guy as he's truly going to be a stunner in my tank. And I just can't wait to show him off. One of the great things about having a YouTube channel and an Instagram account is just being able to document the growth of all of our fish. Just being able to look back and see how small they were and how far they've come. It's one of the most rewarding parts of the hobby. If there's any of our current fish you'd like to see a growth rate video on, leave those down below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Okay guys, that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, consider leaving a like and subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.